Hey everybody, um, today I want to look at a brief example of how we create a statement of stockholders equity. Remember that our statement of stockholders equity really gives the stakeholders in the business an understanding of how the equity accounts have changed between any two accounting periods. All right, so we have some financial information related to ABC Company, and this is for the month ended June 30th. So we have net income that we got from our income statement. We paid some dividends. Um, we had a common stock balance as of the beginning of the month, and then during the month we issued some additional common stock, and we had our retained earnings um, balance as of the beginning of the month. So we want to do a statement of stockholders equity for the month ending in June 30th. And so what we know is that the format of a statement of stockholders equity is always going to follow this idea that I'm going to begin with the balances from the previous period. So that would have been the balances as of May 31. And then I'm either going to add or subtract what I did here in terms of issuing stock income, paying dividends, and then it's going to end with the balance as of the end of the month. So the format's always the same. Beginning balances, plus or minus, and then ending balance. So let's go ahead and put in the balances we were given as of June 1. And so as of June 1, we had common stock that was 180,000. I'm gonna do my best to get these numbers in here. And my retained earnings at the beginning of June was 1,630,000. I'm just gonna add those two together to give me my total of 1,810,000. Three zeros. <clears throat> now I need to see did I issue any common stock? And so right here it says that I issued common stock in June that was 50,000. So that's going to come here. And then I've already prepared my income statement. So I can look and say did I have net income? And that was 100 and 15,000. If I had had a net loss, we simply would have entered that as a negative, <clears throat> right? Um, did I pay dividends? Yes, I did. I paid dividends in the amount of 25,000. And remember <clears throat> that when I paid the dividends, I paid that out of my retained earnings. In other words, the earnings or revenue of the business that I hung on to from the previous accounting period, and I paid those out, so that becomes a negative. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and carry my totals over, and so this one becomes 50000 And in my net income, I had 115000 in my dividends. Remember, I'm going to put that in parentheses. That's a negative 25,000. And now I need my balances as of June 30th. So I'm going to total up my columns. So for common stock, that gives me 230,000. In my retained earnings, I'm going to take retained earnings plus my net income minus my dividends is going to give me a new balance in retained earnings of 1,720,000. So if I did everything correctly, if I take the balance in common stock plus the balance in retained earnings, it should give me the same number if I total up these values right here. 
and so I know that I have one million nine hundred and fifty thousand and I can either get that by taking those two balances and adding them together or I can sum up my totals just remembering that that dividend is something I paid out right? so that's a negative so this would be the statement of stockholders equity for the month ending June 30th it wasn't a real complicated example but I certainly hope that it helped and thanks so much for watching